You really want to know which LEGO Hogwarts Express set you should buy? It's this one, the brand new one from 2023 compared to this one from 2018. I don't have any of the other Hogwarts Express sets, but I do plan on getting them eventually because I'm trying to collect every single LEGO train set, and when I have them, I'll do multiple side-by-sides. I'm going to get into why I think this one's better, but I wanted to give you a quick answer in case you want to sign off, purchase this set, and get on with building. But I'll tell you everything about pros and cons for both of these sets. I actually motorized them. I'll leave links to the videos in the description. And I also have videos on my channel about unboxing, building, and reviewing these sets. That way you can see which one do you like yourself, which one do you prefer, and then hopefully make a decision. And if you don't buy one, that's okay. You can at least see what they're like, and then maybe you just say, eh, not for me. If you are somebody that's interested in getting a Lego train set and you're not super crazy about Harry Potter and you just want a new train, spend a little more and get a Lego City train set. One of the new ones from 2022. They're still on shelves today in 2023. And, you know, they're just much better because you get a full loop of track, your power functions, cool figures, some side pieces for the set. And that's about it. It's an awesome train. You can you build these train sets. You actually put batteries in it and then you can drive the train around. You can purchase additional track and make awesome layouts and then build a city around it. It's just really fun. And that's why I recommend getting one of the actual power function train sets. And you could actually buy older models, things that came out in previous years that are being resold on eBay, BrickLink and other websites. Those are my opinions. Now let's get a deep dive into both these sets, what I think about them, and just pros and cons. That way you can help yourself better understand which one you want for your Hogwarts Express or your Harry Potter setup. All right, talking about this one from 2023, the brand new one, I think it is much better because it is sleeker, it looks cooler, it has two passenger wagons instead of one, and it just, the colors to me look better. I think the train overall looks better and uh, I don't know, I just prefer it. This one's much bulkier, uh, older style looking. Uh, I wasn't a super fan of this one when it came out anyway, but I really was happy to get this one. This one, on the other hand, only has one passenger wagon compared to the two. It's not a bad passenger wagon. You know, they both fit for uh, Lego minifigures and you can modify them to fit more. I just wasn't as in love with that as I am with this. I think this is a better set. Looking at the set wise, you can actually buy this one for less money nowadays than this. This has, uh, you know, this is currently on store shelves and this is from 2018, five years ago, but yet it actually costs less to buy this set than this. Granted, this has gone up in value slightly, but not a whole lot. It is a little, uh, it'll cost you a little more than the actual retail price at the time did, but you can still find it online and purchase it for cheaper than this set. That being said, though, they both have great values to them, and if you spend a little more, you get this set, and it has a much better train station, in my opinion. A train station that would look natural within your LEGO city if you're creating one. It looks great within the Hogwarts build if you're actually building you know, a Harry Potter world versus this other one. It has a small side station, but it's not great in terms of adding it to a city. It's really just a small platform, platform nine and three quarters, but it's still cool. You know, It's part of the set. I just... I really don't think this one's as good as this. They were both easy to motorize. I used the same uh, motors and battery packs to motorize these. However, that being said, there are easier ways to motorize it. You can actually add Lego train motors to the tenders. It's easier. You'll have to modify more, but it allows you to have variable speeds. The train motors I put in here only have one speed. They are not a variable motor. And therefore, since it only has one speed, it's actually not as fun as the other Lego trains where you can change the speed, increase the power to the to the motor, and let the train go faster or slower. That being said, with these, if you do want to vary the speed, you can vary it a little bit if you use the Lego Powered Up app, opposed to using the remote control, and that way you actually don't have to spend money on a remote. For the purpose of this, the battery pack and the remote, I just pulled these off of uh, another train set I had because I do collect Lego trains, and that was easier for me than buying a brand new battery pack and remote but the motors I actually purchased separately and I believe they were somewhere around $15 each. The stuff gets a little pricier for the power functions and that, and that is why if you want a moving train set and you're not crazy about Harry Potter, I do recommend the city train sets with power functions all built into the one set. If you do motorize these, you will need extensive parts or you know check out the videos before you uh, attempt to do it if you're interested or if you're new to it. That way you can kind of see the amount of parts I put into these to change them and make it possible. The only thing I really dislike about the brand new Lego Hogwarts Express here is that the tender does not actually fit a standing conductor. And that is the first time I've ever had a Lego locomotive not fit a standing 
minifigure and it's make mini it's minifigure scale which to me is shocking when i i was very disappointed when i built it and found that out but that being said i created a solution i dropped the cab down a bit and you could fit a standing figure again if you want to see that check out this video i show you how to motorize the train and just make that uh change to the cab as well overall that's about it for the this video i just wanted to get kind of uh into a brief dive into which set i think is better that way you can make a decision and get one for yourself if you're getting the hogwarts express for your harry potter world and if you're interested in the lego train you know pick out the lego city train spend a little more than getting this set and that's my opinion let me know what you think in the comments if you have any questions or concerns about anything at all i did not touch on uh leave a comment and i'll be happy to get back to you i will get back to you it might just take a day or two and overall if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up let me know what you want to see next thank you Lego, my James-o.